Hello, everyone. In this session, we will explore the meanings of Tao with its characteristics of naturalness and namelessness. In Tao De Jing, Lao Zi established a school of philosophy, Taoism. The original meaning of Tao is a way or path taken by people. According to Lao Zi, Tao is the mother of heaven and earth. 可以为天下母 It creates the universe and makes everything in the world as it is. Lao Zi says, "From Tao, there comes one. Tao 生一 From one, there comes two. Yi 生二 From two, there comes three. Er 生三 From three, there comes all things." 三生万物 Though three gives birth to all things, it starts from one, which is originated from Tao. So Tao is the origin source of everything. It transcends form and constitutes the basis for the birth and existence of all things, and the activities of human beings as well. Besides. Tao also governs all changes and workings of everything in the universe. According to Feng Youlan, the term Tao has two meanings. One denotes that by which all things come into being. The other denotes the knowledge of that by which all things come into being. So everything in the world come from Tao and follows it. Tao is the origin of everything, and meanwhile, the law by which all things function in the universe. It is difficult to find any English equivalent for the word Tao. There have been several versions of translation of the word into English. The way, the grand way, way making, divine law, Tao, Tao. The words Tao and Lao Zi, based on the Pinyin system of standard Mandarin, are the most commonly used form today. As for Lao Zi, there has also been other Romanized forms, such as Lao Zu or Lao Zu, Lao Zi or Lao Zi. In this unit, Tao and Lao Zi will be the form used, except in some citations. In ancient Chinese, Lao Zi is a title meaning old, 老 master, 子 old master. Lao Zi is believed to be the author of Tao De Jing. The book is also known as Lao Zi, Lao Zu Book, Classic of the Way and the Virtue, The Book of Tao and the Virtue, The Book of Tao. Or Tao Te Ching. It consists of eighty-one chapters with about five thousand characters. It is divided into two parts, with the first part called Tao Wei and the second part De Virtue. Tao is about the origin of the world, while De is the manifestation and realization of Tao. This book has exerted a great influence on the development of Chinese culture. Naturalness. Naturalness refers to a natural or original state of beings.、Uh, it is difficult from that of nature in the ordinary sense, such as the physical world. Naturalness emphasizes the initial condition. Or state of things independent from human interference. Lao Tzu suggests that everything in the world has its own way of being and development, and humans should not change anything natural. Man patterns himself after earth, 人法地 Earth patterns itself after heaven, 地法天 
Heaven patents itself after Tao, 天法道 Tao patents itself after naturalness, 道法自然 We can see from the sentences that man imitates earth, earth imitates heaven. Heaven follows Tao, and Tao follows nature. Being the creator of all things, Tao operates in accordance with the natural state of those things. It creates everything, yet it does not possess anything. 生而不有 We can gain more insights into Lao Tzu's thought of naturalness in non-action and non-contention. Non-action, Wu Wei, is one of Lao Tzu's principal doctrines. It does not mean doing nothing; rather, it means not doing a thing excessively and no human interference into the natural state of beings. It contains three points. The first point. Is to have self-control and resist the desire of intervening into the natural state of beings. The second point is following the law of nature, and the third point is to bringing into play the initiative of all things and people. The third point is made for rulers in managing a government. In this way, there is nothing that cannot be accomplished by Tao. So Tao never does. Yet through it, all things are done. Tao 常无为而无不为 The same is true with non-contention or futility of contention. In Tao De Jing, the characters 不争 Are also frequently mentioned. Lao Tzu holds that, as he contends for nothing, Fu Wei Bu Zheng, none in the world could contend with him. 故天下莫能与之争 Why is so? That is because no man can defeat a person who refuses to be his rival or to compete with him. Lao Tzu also holds that the Tao of the sage is to do what he can, but contend with none. 圣人之道，为而不争。For the sage, he does whatever he can, but compete with nobody. So the concept of non-contention reveals the wisdom of Lao Tzu. Following nature, being harmonious with the natural state of beings, not against it. The unnameable. At the beginning of Tao De Jing, Lao Tzu says, "The way that can be told of is not an unvarying way." Dao Ke Dao, 非常道 The names that can be named. Are not unvarying names. 名可名，非常名。Unvarying means invariable and unchangeable. 长。If Tao can be comprised in words, it is no longer unvarying Tao. 长道。And the things may be named, but names are not the things. And they are not the lasting names. The way conceals itself in being nameless. 道隐无名 Lao Tzu says. According to him, Tao cannot be defined, discussed, and comprised in words. It is invisible, intangible, and indescribable. Lao Tzu claims that its true name I do not know. 吾不知其名 Wei or Dao is the by name we give. 强字曰道 Once it is given a name such as Dao, 
it is no longer the eternal unvarying Tao, Chang Tao. Then, why did Lao Tzu still give a name to it? That's because we human beings use language to communicate. Lao Tzu had to express himself with words. Even though the profundity of Tao is far beyond any language. Why is Tao unnameable? Feng Youlan explains that all things that lie within shapes and features have names. The things constitute the actual world. They are nameable. But there are others that are beyond shapes and features. Some of them are nameable, while others, such as Tao, are not. Tao gives birth to things of the actual world, so it is not part of them. They belong to different levels. Tao is at a higher level than what it creates. If everything in the world has a name for itself, Tao does not have any name, since it is not in any linguistic and expressive system. It is a formless while a language belongs to the form.